Assalamu alaikum hello guys in this video i am going to explain you about the different engine classifications or configurations based on the design so in this topic there are two major classifications the reciprocating engines and the rotary engines in the reciprocating engines there are pistons which will uh, move to and fro in the cylinder assembly to produce the mechanical power and in rotary engines there are usually rotors that will rotate to produce the mechanical power so now coming towards the types of the reciprocating engines the first one in the list is inline or a straight engine in inline or a straight engine as the name is referring all the pistons and the crankshaft are lying in a single plane or a single line as you can see from this side this type of design has an advantage of less balancing parts and uh, eventually there will be less vibration producing by this type of design but this type of design uh, having an uh, having a disadvantage that if you want to increase the number of pistons that will require the longer length of the piston and that will no longer suitable for your compact automobiles but in other applications this can be prolonged like in power generation engines so it can be done in uh, those applications and then there is a v type engine to resolve the length problem of the inline or a straight engine v type engines are introduced in v type engines there are different banks of pistons the bank is referring to the set of piston in a different plane it is the first bank and it is the second bank and if you uh, see from the side of the crankshaft you will see a v type of shape so that's why this type of engines are called v type and the angles between the banks are usually 60 degree or 90 degree in different v type engines now coming towards the flat or a boxer type engine or actually it is a 180 degree v as you can see the uh, two banks are producing 180 degree angle so actually the flat or a boxer type is a type of v uh, v engine so in v type engines the major advantage is that these type of engines are compact and will occupy less space in your cars so actually it has resolved the longer length problem with more pistons but these type of engines require more balancing parts so it can uh, create more vibration it it, uh, it can uh, there will be a chance for producing more uh, vibrations by the v type of engine so in a flat or a boxer type the major advantage is that these type of engine have lower heights due to lower heights there will be uh, low center of gravity and these type of engines are stable and will avoid the rollovers in the automobiles but this type of engine is having a complex assembly with the car and uh, it will create a problem in mechanical maintenance like for changing the spark plugs you need a little bit more concentration and uh, require a more technical approach to change the spark plug or a gasket of these type of engines now coming towards the radial type of engines the radial here is only indicating the arrangement of the pistons the pistons are arranged in a circular manner but all the pistons will still be reciprocate to produce the power at this point the crankshaft will rotate the interesting part of the radial engine is that the all the pistons are pinned at a single point that will eventually rotate the crankshaft and the radial engine usually have odd numbers of pistons as you can see in this diagram this uh, engine is having five pistons this is because of the uh, balanced firing orders for the pistons and the balanced forces distribution along the crankshaft so that's where radial engines have usually odd number of pistons now coming towards an interesting part of the uh, reciprocating engines an opposed piston engine the opposed piston engine is a special type of engine in which there is no uh, engine head in which per cylinder there are two pistons as you can see in one cylinder there are two pistons in both uh, sides so the first advantage is there will be uh, no heavy parts like uh, engine heads 
but the major and the most useful advantage of the post piston engine is that it has a less surface area to volume combustion chamber ratio the combustion chambers surface area and volume is less in post piston engines which is directly related to the heat transfer of the uh, between the engines and the surroundings of the engine so by reducing this ratio you are directly reducing that heat transfer uh, between the engine and the surroundings and it will eventually increase the thermal efficiency of the engine so post piston engines are weightless uh, weight you cannot say weightless they are less in weight and they are higher in thermal efficiency so that's all from the reciprocating engines there is another type of uh, reciprocating engine a w type in which the pistons are arranged uh, in a w manner and there are three banks of the piston so that type will refer to w type so that's all from the reciprocating engines now let's come towards the rotary engines now let's move towards the uh, rotary engine as i mentioned earlier in rotary engines there is a rotor which will rotate according to the auto cycle and will produce the engine power so here i have the mankel rotary engine the most famous rotary engine and which is dead now so i have already showed a video on that topic and i have provided the link in description you can watch for the fuller understanding of the wankel rotary engine and why are the why are they dead and the disadvantages of them so the most important point i want to share with you guys is uh, the difference between a rotary engine and a radial engine so many of you people are confused between radial engine and a rotary engine so why why a radial engine cannot be called a rotary engine or a rotary engine cannot be called a radial engine here you can see a, a set of pistons uh, which is arranged in a circular manner if the crankshaft of this type of engine is fixed and the whole assembly of the piston uh, including the cylinders will rotate uh, and uh, the pistons will reciprocate and rotate as well with the whole assembly then it will be called as rotary engines and if uh, the piston assembly and the cylinder assembly is at rest and only the piston will reciprocate to rotate the crankshaft then it will be called as a radial engine so that's the main uh, difference between radial engine and rotary engine and both of these type of designs were used in aviation aeroplanes before the invention of turbojet and turboprop engines so uh, that's from my side now let's come towards the fact of the day So if you guys have any questions suggestions regarding this video and for the future topics you can comment below i'll try to answer them and please don't forget to share subscribe and like this video so hopefully see you next time bye bye